Okay, before we get started, I do want to say, yes, my voice is a little lower and a little scratchier. I am recovering from sickness. No, it was not COVID, so don't worry, I am okay, but I just want to get that out there. I'm, I'm feeling a lot better, thankfully, but yes, I do sound weird. Hello, hello everyone, my name is Laura and this is my channel, Laura's Little Library, and today I am doing a Halloween book tag. This tag was created by the Library of Sarah, but I could not find the original video down below. It said it was private whenever I tried to look for it, so... But I still want to give her credit because she created the tag and that's a lot of work. So... Oh, it feels so good to do a tag again. I'm so excited. So the first question in this tag is, what is your favorite horror book? And I haven't read a lot of horror books, but still, whenever I think of horror, this book always comes to mind. That is House of Salt and Sorrow by Erin A. Craig. This is a horror 12 Dancing Princesses retelling. I read it two years ago. Wow, I read this two years ago, and I still think about it to this day. Like I said, it's a retelling, but it's very horror and twisted. And I thought it was just amazing. I loved the characters. I loved the mystery. I loved the twists. It was so good. I really need to reread it because I very much enjoyed this. <coughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna die, but it's okay. Cause wouldn't that be fitting for the video if I just died? Anyway, uh, scariest moment from a book you have read. I am gonna go with a more of a recent read. Um, there was one scene in House of Hollow by Crystal Sutherland that scared me. I will describe the scene because I don't believe it's too spoilery. It's only spoilery if you've read the book and then it's not a spoiler. But basically, the main characters were somewhere, someone else was in the place, they left, and so then they started to come out of their hiding places, and all of a sudden they like opened the door and they were right there. And it was, it was weirdly the equivalent to a jump scare because I don't jump scare very easily for movies and I never jump scare for books because you know book but <laughs> um I was listening to the audiobooks and while I was reading it and I literally just went like I had a big physical reaction like it was a jump scare and I loved it so much it made me so happy I am I'm definitely one of those people where I love it when people actually manage to scare me around Halloween Question number three, have you ever dressed up as a book character? Kind of. And what I mean by that is not a specific book character, but I dressed up from the world. So I don't have any pictures of, of this, but when I was younger, I had a full Harry Potter costume. And so I did dress up for Halloween as a Harry Potter character, but instead of being a specific character like Hermione or Ginny or you know I I dressed up as myself as a Hogwarts student <laughs> I don't know why I did this but the issue was is that I had long blonde hair that was really wavy so everyone just thought I was Hermione and like halfway through the night I just gave up and said yes I was Hermione after trying to explain to the people that I was trick-or-treating to that no I'm not Hermione I am myself if I were a Hogwarts student and they, they just most people couldn't understand that they couldn't understand that I was a alternate reality version of myself if Hogwarts was real um, so I, I gave up and said that I was Hermione but that was not the initial intent behind the costume so that's what I mean by kind of question number four is a fun one and it is what do you think your favorite bookish characters would dress up as for Halloween I've decided the characters I have chosen are going to be Lewin Reed from Serpent and Dove, and I honestly, I think that Lou would definitely choose something super slutty or like super revealing purely to make Reed feel uncomfortable. Like if they were to do almost a, like if they did a couples thing, I almost think that Lou would be Tinkerbell with like a low strapless dress and shorts and like wings whereas um reed would be very uncomfortable and so he'd be like peter where he's 
like long sleeves, like long pants and like very kind of more conservative. And I think that would just be hilarious. And I could just imagine them like at a Halloween party, Lou just dragging Reed all around trying to get him to drink all these funky things at, that you see at a Halloween party. That's, that's what I like to imagine. That's what I'm going to go with. Next question number five, what is your favorite kind of horror? And again, I don't read a lot of horror, but I what I look for when I read or watch it is more paranormal-esque. I really like the building of creatures and like creature design or like demon design or even throwing in some mythology behind it, you know, kind of coming up with this whole new out of world concept. Um, so I really like paranormal type things, although I think it can very easily get trashy, which is why I'm too scared to read it. Um, but a close second would be like mysterious kind of thrillery, mystery, mysterious thriller, mystery thriller, uh, type horror just with like there's suspense and you're trying to constantly figure things out. But I still got to go with that creative character design over a mystery so I, I should read more of that though I should give it a fair chance question number six if books were as cheap as candy what books would you hand out to trick-or-treaters on Halloween I think I might actually go with the graveyard book by Neil Gaiman for this one because it is something that I read as an adult but I would have loved as an adult as a middle grader as a child and I think it can appeal to anyone and everyone and it's like spooky vibes, but it's also just like a good book overall. So I would probably hand out the graveyard book. Question number seven, what is your Halloween TBR? So if you don't know, I am currently doing a Halloween themed reading extravaganza. So each week leading up to Halloween, I am reading a different theme. Uh, vampires, ghosts, werewolves, witches, dark academia, thriller. I think that's all of them. And so I am currently in Vampire Week. I have two more vampire books. I am currently reading the Southern Book Club's Guide to Slaying Vampires. And I then want to read The Hunting Prince Dracula by Carrie Maniscalco. And then next week is my Witches Week. And I have three books picked out for that week. But there are also a few days in between the end of the reading extravaganza and actually Halloween and I would love to catch up on some of the books that I wanted to read but didn't quite get to the spooky season and those books would include Wilder Girls by Rory Powers. I'm actually currently listening to the audiobook for this but very very slowly so I hope I can finish it in time. Uh, the Final Girl Support Group by Grady Hendrix. I started this and I love it, but yeah, I, again, it kind of got kicked to the back burner a little bit and I'm very sad to say it, so I would love to read this one. And then the last one is A Lesson in Vengeance by Victoria Lee. This was supposed to happen during my Dark Academia week. I didn't end up having time for it, so I would love to try and squeeze it in before Halloween. And then the last question is, what are some Halloween book spooky book recommendations and that is actually going to be the topic of next week's video so subscribe hit the bell to be notified when I post that video so if you're interested you can stay tuned in to my channel to find that video coming next Tuesday hopefully as long as my technology works but that will be the plan um, and that is the end of the tag so like I said subscribe Hit the bell if you want to get more content. I post uh, bookish content videos on Tuesdays and I'm currently doing vlogs going up on Thursdays. Um, we'll see in November if I can keep up doing two videos a week. I would very much love to keep doing two videos a week. I just want to make sure I have enough content ideas. So if you have any videos that you want me to do, comment them down below and I can definitely make that happen and then I can keep uploading twice a week like this. And like the video if you liked it, be sure to check out the creator of the tag. I will link her channel down below. And yeah, comment if you have any spooky Halloween recommendations, books or otherwise, but yeah, thank you all so much for watching and until I see you all in the next video, I wish you happy spooky reading.